Who left this out here? Call me Patrick Mahomes. What's up guys? It's your boy, Builder Dan. Dan the man for Luma. Getting some of that go-go juice today. Get us going. We got a busy day today. We gotta go and check on some underground plumbing, some hardy and vinyl getting installed, some carpet getting installed. We have electrical roughs going in at one of my homes, some hardy and vinyl at another home, and we gotta check some forms that got set over the weekend, make sure they did they work right. And that's about it. Billy Jean is not my lover. Let's get rolling, baby. Safety first. Here at Cretan Towns and Homes, we emphasize safety in every aspect of our life, including the building process. First job, I'm gonna go run over to the Murphy family, get an underground plumbing done today. Before we go check it all out, that'll work. Now this right here is that Extendo Mag Clip. Keeps it on the hip nice and tight, so you can put that tape right there. Look at that. Tape not going anywhere now. Let's get it, dude. What happened over the weekend, if you look, we got the form set. We're having some underground plumbing put in right now. That's Ian with IPS Plumbing. So we're just gonna kinda check the forms, just make sure they're in the right spot for now. Let's get it. What's up, dude? This home don't have uh, water to fill in. I don't know. Let's go check. Yeah, I think we are doing a well here. It's your carport right there, your tie-in. So yeah, I reckon we're gonna do a well here. Yes. This water. <laughs> I thought it was for packages, honestly. I was like, oh, that's like a little package shed in case we get packages delivered. Yeah, they got water right there, playa. You watched the game last night? No, I don't watch sports. I hear you. I normally don't. I, had a, I have a buddy who plays for the Eagles. I watch it just to watch him play. Yeah. Hey, how much you want for this excavator? I'll give you what you paid for it. Yeah, I guess you would, because I told you what I paid for. <clears throat> I like that. I just did an underground uh, yesterday. Really? Yeah, it was a 140 foot run. Shoo. No, um, Dakota, they, they have one. His dad has one. Right. It's a little bit bigger than yours, and he let me borrow it. Right. Saved me like 350 bucks on a rental, dude. I was, I was hyped about that. Go ahead and check some stuff while we're out here. So when you hook, you add an inch and a half, right? So this is five foot five and a half, calls five foot four, right on the money. Nineteen, right on the money. We'll pull the other big measurements whenever I come back and have somebody to measure with me. Ian, smile, you're gonna be on camera. They're getting all the ugly guys in it, so I figured I'd ask you to be in it. <laughs> Later. If you guys need anything, let me know. Next one, we're going to McCallop. McCallop is having the uh, electrical rough-ins done today. Got to go check, make sure the electricians are good, make sure they don't need anything, and just kind of get an update and see when they're going to be done. But that's next. Uh, hey, you don't have to worry about cleaning your boots off, bro. I'll take my truck to Rockies at the end of the week and... Uh, I take my floor mats out and stuff, and I'll let them, they'll spray them down for me with the, uh, the little pressure washers and stuff. Get them nice and sparkly clean. That's my Friday ritual. After work, go clean my truck, get it, get it nice and purdy for the weekend, and then get it muddy the next week. These are these are Dan's master set of plans for the McCallop family. What's up, playa? Smile, you're on camera. Oh yeah. All right, looky here. What you got? I changed. You see these switches here? Mm-hmm. I moved them over. That don't make no sense why it's right think there. think that's better? I mean... And then I put the attic door switch and showed it way over here and put it here and here. All right. Cool. That'll work. Anything else? And... Do, 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 do. I may have to just move some switches around the corner there. I don't have room. Yeah. I moved this switch to this corner. Okay. Get it away from that. This switch, moving it over, get it away from that because that may shift a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tight. And these switches here, 
come with this. I can either do that's in the closet? No, this is in the... Uh, that's in the ma no, that's in the master closet. Hmm? I got gotcha. you. I'm thinking I'm going to do the heater vent light, so you have three here. Uh-huh. And then you'll have the two over here. You cool with that? Separate it? Yeah, let's roll with that. That's fine. Okay, so this will be the vanity and yeah. the shower. What about this? Pool. So that's going to be like a future pool. We were going to talk to him about that a little bit more in depth. But as of right now, no. we're not doing anything with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's center, let's center him up. Center him over, right? Yeah, definitely center him over. Okay. What else is it? You watched the game last night or no? I did not, man. I didn't want to play it at all. Yeah, I was going to say, you didn't miss much. Hey, dude. Looking good. Coming together. All right, man. You need anything from me? Nope. If I do, I will give you a call. Sounds good, dude. Appreciate you. All right, man. We're just going to go run to the gas station right up the road. Uh, Dakota's dad needs to meet me and grab that grease gun. I think he needs to grab the key for the excavator. So we're just going to go drop that off to him real quick. And then get on to Montesino. Well, they're, they're starting up the... Uh, particle accelerator back out in their Switzerland again and try and try and break down the Higgs boson so they're trying to discover if there's even like even smaller particles in the Higgs boson so that's pretty neat um, and they're supposed to be expanding it like an extra I think like 15 miles or something like that to try and just you know, like really pound it with particles and see what they can do that'd be neat but trying to confirm string theory essentially because you know you have particle physics you have like the bosons leptons quarks and so what they're trying to do now is just break those down even farther so we'll see what happens what's up pops shoot getting famous that. careful now don't start pumping that grease man that machine's nice that 100 foot run took me like an hour and a half to dig like typically it takes me like four hours thanks pops appreciate it see you thursday Later, man. Oh, pop some balake. Some, some good guys right there, man. Some good guys. To Montesino we go now. So you have your, your, your atoms, right? Your atoms are composed of neutrons, protons, and electrons, right? Those three. Well, then your neutrons, protons, and electrons are composed of even smaller particles called bosons, leptons, and quarks. And your leptons and bosons, they have like classifications within them. It's so like your leptons, you can have like a, like a lambda lepton. I don't remember all the names of them, honestly. It's a whole bunch of Greek names. But I think there's like seven variations of leptons, a few variations of bosons, and then your quarks are just quarks. But what they're trying to figure out is like, all right, so atoms comprised of neutrons, protons, and electrons, those are composed of bosons, leptons, and quarks. Like what makes up the quarks? What makes up the bosons? What makes up the leptons? And so like diving deeper into that, you go into string theory, which is everything is just made of vibrational strings and stuff that you know, correlate with one another, all vibrate off of each other, blah, 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 whatever. It doesn't whatsoever. <laughs> my name's Daniel. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is my crib. So you walk in here, we got a little trash pile. Gotta to toss all this away. Uh, here we got the foyer. It's a great looking foyer. We got the dining area right here. We got this island. Look at this island. That quartz countertop. Shoo. Look at that, looking good. They're getting the spa shower. Gotta call Johnny, double check. He's supposed to get in beginning of this week, put that shower base in for us. Have all their appliances here. And there should be a trim kit right here. Show sure enough, rock and rolling on this week. So this week we have a lot of exterior stuff getting done. We'll have the septic system tied in. We get the underground conduit ran for the permanent power. We're gonna get the hardy vinyl soffit fascia put on. Exterior will be pretty much completely finished this week. Marbella's installed this week, both of the showers. We got the tile on schedule this week. It's a busy week. That's a lot going on in one week. 
pretty close to closing these guys out, getting them moving into this beautiful new home. We don't build houses. We build homes. These other builders build houses. CT Homes, we build homes. Pfft. Houses. To the next one. Now we're gonna go to the Anthony home. So they, they live in Livingston Parish, which, oh my gosh, man. I love the ladies at the Livingston Parish office, permit office, but they close down for literally, if there's a holiday on the calendar, it could be National Pink Pig Day, and they're closed for it. They take every single holiday off. Like that is a lavish job to have. Their, their home is being built in Livingston. It's a pain because the permit office is always closed. And so uh, we have to get the sewer inspection done. So I'm gonna call that in today. What's up, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Call this brick guy. He sent me out more bricks, but he sent me the wrong color. It's like, the, it's, the, it's the right color, but you'll have like different runs of bricks. And so the bricks will have like a slight variation based on the materials that are put in them. So like these are the ones they sent out. <clears throat> and this is what they're supposed to look like, you know? So it's like, it's the right color, it's the St. Louis brick. But they just didn't send out the same run. I reckon it's just a different run. So we gotta get that fixed. So we can get these bricks finished. <clears throat> Shoo. It's a maze right now, man. We gotta get this cleaned up. Good morning. Hey. How are you? Hi, you? Doing great. So what we'll do is we'll get paint done. And then after the paint's done, we're gonna get this floor paper changed out. This stuff is looking a little, a little gross. So but I'm gonna let them finish painting just in case they get any you know more droplets of paint, and then we'll get it swapped out and we'll finish trimming out the home. They're getting all kinds of faux beams sewn up in here, so we get those knocked out. Um, and then, yeah, countertops installed, so. What's up, Eddie? How are you, dude? Yeah? So with the faux beams, what they'll do is they'll run, um, Steve likes to run a one by eight, and he'll just, basically what he'll do is he'll just come up, and he'll just tack a one by eight on this roof where you have your rafter running, and he'll, or uh, your joist running, He'll tackle one by four up there or a one by eight up there, and he'll take on the back porch. We have these cedar planks that are, uh, I think they're what, an inch by 11 and a quarter, 11 and three quarters. And so he'll just build those down and then across. And so he'll build like faux pieces. So they look like real beams, but they're, uh, they're just decorative. They're not uh, structural at all, um, but they look really pretty. So he's doing one, two, three across this way and we're doing two that way kind of tying into this one that's going to tie into that the edge of that brick column right there and then we're gonna have two that way over the uh, dining area and then we're gonna have one going from this brick to this brick to where it looks like it's just gonna tie directly into the brick and so it's gonna be beautiful I'm excited for that I told the uh, I told the homeowners I was like yeah you know Every home I build, I always steal a few little details from each home. And I'm like, I get to see what I want to put in my home. And I was like, these beams, 100% going in my home. Like, they're going to be so nice. And so I think it's going to look awesome because you're going to have all that cedar faux beam in here. And you're going to have the cedar mantle when that gets thrown on. And it's just going to tie it all together. It's going to look so good. But, yeah, it's a mess today. Painting. So we'll get it cleaned up. After the painting's done, after the vinyl softening fascia gets done, we get a good exterior clean again. So, buenos dias, amigo. So their bathtub, beautiful bathtub. Dude, this, these homeowners are awesome. I love all my homeowners though. They're all awesome. So this is getting the cased opening. So they're gonna do a lot of barn doors in this home too. The homeowners are supplying their barn doors, but they're doing uh, case opening here. So what they're gonna have is a uh, barn door coming here and it's gonna just We have a barn door here. We're gonna get the stained mahogany front doors which are gonna look beautiful. So this is why I came and knocked out yesterday. Over the weekend, came and dug their, uh, this is for their underground permanent power. So we're running conduit from the, 
the home connection all the way to the the transformer and that'll that'll be how they tie in their underground power <clears throat> and so had a little fun playing in the mud this weekend got to relive my childhood glory days and uh yeah it was fun almost got stuck a couple times but we didn't it's like i don't know like five feet maybe you want to find out? Yeah, I'm, I'm like five feet. I'm like five foot nine, so let's see. <gasps> so I'm like five nine. Yes. So you have to go at least at least thirty inches. Like the minimum requirement for underground is thirty inches. Always go like at least thirty six inches, just because you never know what could happen, what kind of dirt fill you could have, what kind of water fill you could have. If the pipe floats up anything, so always try and go bare minimum 36 inches. But this is like about 48. So rather be safe than sorry, you know. Dude, I hit their gas line twice in a water line down there. So I hit a water line and a gas line down there. Luckily, the uh, the dad he ran it all himself like 20 something years ago, so he has like low pressure gas and just inch and a half pipe for both the gas and the water. So like we just got that replaced. He was super cool about it. And then I flip and hit their gas line again. Oh, I was mad. Because I was trying to run run their conduit over on this side and just, you know, just shoot it like straight back here. But their gas literally just gave me like no room to dig on this side. So I had to like reevaluate it all, fix it, and then come this way. So, a little tighter to the home than I would have liked, but it's still okay. So you gotta have a sweep of 90 from here. So you have a three foot sweep, so it's like a 36 inch sweep. It's like that. Long sweeping 90. Just tie it into this, have it sweep out, and I'm gonna tie in another sweep and go straight back. So you can only have three sweeps in a run. Um, it's like a regulation from energy. I don't know why, so don't ask me why. It just is what it is. That's what they tell me not to do. <laughs> so we get the sewer inspection called in this week. Hopefully get that done. Have the conduit laid and then hopefully get um, the work order called in for the permanent power. Probably get permanent power next week. And then be about a month out from finishing. Dude, these guys are awesome. This is a uh, Sugar Ridge vinyl. It's so good. Do excellent work. I always have a smile on their face, which I love. We go to the Mistretta home. I'm gonna go check and see my uh, my carpet crews there, putting the carpet in. They were supposed to get there over the weekend or at the end of last week, but the rain kind of held them up because that carpet's heavy, so they couldn't couldn't get close enough to the home without having to carry the carpet through the mud and stuff. And so I don't know if you've ever carried a roll of carpet, but it's like six, seven hundred pounds. It's pretty pretty heavy. <laughs> Clean your feet before you go in. Locked. I think he's on the back porch. I'll go open it up. BRB. Shh, don't tell anyone we're in here. So this is the Mistretta home. All we're waiting for now, carpet. I'll come do a punch out this week because we're missing some light bulbs you know, small things, I'll kind of tighten this up. I'll do all that tomorrow. Please press set clock. Set clock, 11.02. Yeah, carpet's on the way. Get the carpet installed. Peggy will clean tomorrow. Miss Peggy's awesome, super sweet lady. And then blower door test, clean, punch it out. And then done. Watch this. You'll never believe what's gonna happen now. It's gonna shut. Alright, Mr. Sal. Alright, bye bye. He's a cool guy. I like Mr. Sal. He's like uh that's the homeowner. 
the Mistrata, the one we just left. So he's just, he's a cool guy, man. Super nice. Super laid back. Just like a, I don't know. He gives me like a, kind of like old school, like mob leader kind of vibes, you know? Yeah, he's just like very laid back, very like not soft spoken, but kind of like quieter. But you could just tell there's like just like some some umph in in, in the way he talks, you know. So let me call you back in a little bit. I gotta get this generator out of here, and it's freaking a mud pit. So I'll call you back in a sec. All right, bye. I always get phone calls at the most like inconvenient times. So what happens when you big swolly like this, bro? I make I make the hard stuff look easy, Ian. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna like precariously perch this generator just on my tailgate, uh, put a ratchet strap on it, and just drive very slow back down to the McCallop home. We're only going like a mile down the road, anyways. It ain't gotta be perfect. Roll out. Got fuel in it, but all right, man. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Got some help, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got this open. Let me, let me kind of clean this out a little bit. I'm a very OCD, very neat person, but it's just been flipping buck wild. Go, go, go. Poor Maxwell. This is Maxwell, by the way. I don't know if you guys wanted to meet Maxwell, but Maxwell's my truck. He's a good little truck. He's small. He's got a big heart, just like me. I'm a small fella, but I got a big heart. He gives 165%, and so do I. And that's why we have such a special bond. It's because we're out here giving 165% in everything we do, including building your home. Normally it's like super clean, but not as of late. I don't get this side. This side's even worse. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day at Korean Townsend Homes. We're gonna go say hey to some of our favorite people in the whole wild world. We're gonna say hey to T.O. We're gonna say hey to Brandy. We're gonna say hey to Michael Grady, Mikey Doucette. Oh, we got some new mats. Cretan Townsend Home. The builder that cares. It's a beautiful day. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's doing? happening, bro? How you doing? Doing great. What's going on, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? Mikey. What's up, my guy? Bro. Doing all right? What up, T.O.? It is. Shoot, living the dream, bro. I've known Daniel since he was a kid. Don't lie. <laughs> you don't know me. Hey, don't tell any of the salespeople, but Mikey Doucette's my favorite. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in here. My boots are kind of dirty, but I need some crackers. We're gonna step, we're gonna tread lightly. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Shoo! Buddy, get that seven up. All right. This is lunch today, guys. Ritz bites and mini chips ahoy. I gotta go get some hay and bring it out here. I forgot about that. That's the thing about like pouring a slab for a home. Like you pour the slab and you're like standing on the slab and you're like, this is it? Like this looks so small. But then like you get walls up, you get a roof over the head. And you're like, wow, okay. This is actually way bigger than I thought. This actually is an actual home. And so it's, it's cool. Cause I, I had a lot of homeowners say the same thing. Like their slab would get poured. Wait until the walls go up. Wait until the roof gets put on. And it takes shape. You'll see. Dumb. It's cool. It's really cool. 
Yes, sir. What's up, man? How are you? Doing great and getting better. Let me get one, two, three, four, five, six bales of hay. Can I borrow 70 bucks? It's from you. Yeah, can I borrow $70? Uh, all right. Maybe next time. Oh, I, I take I take Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, Rabbit, any of those forms of payment. Any cryptocurrency, I'll take it all, man. Thanks, sir. Appreciate you. You too. Hey, how are you? All right, man. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm push and pull like a magnet too. Hey, how's it going? Doing great, man. All right, we just picked up the hay for the Grinier model. We're gonna bring it back to the main office and just go spread it around, kind of keep the keep the work site clean. Uh, we're gonna give the contractors a place to kind of wipe their feet off, uh, so that way they don't track all that clay and mud into the home, because that's what we like to do. We like to keep our homes clean during the building process, because a clean home is a happy home. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed getting a little insight of the day-to-day -day goings of what it is to be a builder here at Creighton. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace.